this message goes out to every person that lives in the United States of America. I like to say this. However a nation treats the nation of Israel or Jerusalem, whatever they try to do to Israel, God will do to them. This goes all the, all the way down through history. God says in his word in Genesis chapter 12, I will bless those that bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. However a nation treats the nation of Israel, God will treat them. Go back to October 20, 29th. To October 29th or October 28th, 1991. Senior Bush was having a meeting about, the, about parting the land of Israel. And at that exact same time, there was a hurricane. They said this was strange. They said this kind of weather pattern only happens every 100 years. And outside, 30-foot waves destroyed his house. There was a hurricane that came, destroyed his house completely. Then back in uh, 2005, there was a gay parade. Listen, there was a gay parade, or was it the year before that? They said the next thing, they were going to have another parade, and they were saying not even a breathing dragon will be able to stop our assembly from happening. To the exact time when they were supposed to have that meeting, Hurricane Katrina came. I can go on. But God uses his judgments. He uses earthquakes. He uses water, which is flooding rain, earthquakes, fire, you name it. And by the way, every time Arafat would step foot on American soil, the stock, mar the stock market would crash or there would be fiery storms. God means what he says. So this is what I wanted to say is this, because Senior Bush, he was, he wanted to part the land in a gentle way, but he wasn't dogmatic about it. But we have a pres, well, the United States has a president called President Obama. He's doing this with an iron fist. He was saying, what was it, last year sometime, or was it 2011 or 2000, I forget, that he wants Israel to remove their borders to how they were in before 1967 during the Six Day War. And what happened shortly after that? Right away you start hearing Korea's testing nukes out. The hand of God has been removed from America. As a nation treats Israel, God will treat them. This is what's going to happen. Okay? The judgment of God is coming to America. And I want to read this. This is Zechariah chapter 12, verse 3. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavenly stone for all peoples. All who would have it away will surely be cut in pieces. Through all nations of the earth are gathered against it. You hear what he says? Whoever goes up against Jerusalem or Israel because the same thing, they shall be cut into pieces. And you know what the real truth is behind Obama's plan to go to Israel? He's a dictator, okay? He is a dictator because he's saying he's not going to go to Israel if, if Israel does not get a new government. Well, good. They don't want him and they don't need him there. All that he causes is problems. This is what he said. That's what he wants. He wants Israel to create a new government. Or else he's not going on March uh, 20th. But his real plan is he wants to create a Palestinian state. He wants to give Jerusalem to the Arabs. Now if he does that, I believe in my heart because it's in the word of God and God has never failed and God made an everlasting covenant with the nation of Israel. When this happens, there will either be hurricanes in the United States that they have never seen ever before in their history. There will be devastating earthquakes flooding rain, there will be all kinds of storms, supernatural storms that are going to happen if Obama goes according to his plan. The judgment of God is going to fall on America. This is the truth. I don't care what you guys think of this video. You guys can laugh at it. You can mock it. You're going to see it happen. Because God has risen up so many prophetic voices. They have come and gone. 
this other guy was talking about one night he was God gave him a revelation he saw a, a massive earthquake he was he literally woke up shaking his wife had to hold him and everything he said this doesn't usually happen he was shaking he was in shock he had so much fear that he went to turn on the TV flipping through the news he was wondering why why isn't this on the news why are they talking about it this is how real the the dream was God showed him okay and another guy by the name of Dimitri Dunaman so many people don't even want to read his vision that he had that's how horrifying it is but God revealed to him that in one day America will burn he said Los, he said uh, Las Vegas will burn because its sins are like Sodom and Gomorrah what else? Florida will burn because the sins are like Sodom and Gomorrah. San Francisco, you name it. This will probably be done by nuclear warfare. Okay? Because God revealed to him. The first attack on the United States was September 11th. Now there's two more attack. There's two more attacks according to the prophecy, which is going to be the third one. And that's going to take America out completely. And another guy, Henry Groover, he's a Russian submarine coming out of the American soil, shooting missile over the city of New York City and exploded in the air and the whole entire city of New York was literally disintegrated before his eyes. God has risen up so many people and when this happens, the whole world is going down with it. When these visions that showed when America goes down, the whole world is going down with it. <laughs> God is going to shake America up. God is trying to warn people but they're not listening. And God is calling out his watchmen. He's taking them all out. He's giving them warnings after warnings after warnings. And President Obama goes so far to say that America is not a Christian nation. It is not a Muslim nation. It is a democratic nation. Which is not. You cannot change history. History is history. Go through all the places in America. You will see it. And now they're removing the word. Of, they're removing God's word. They're moving everything. This is why God's going to unleash His judgment. This is what I'm saying. But it's because of what they're doing to Israel. They're debating to d divide up land. They want to divide the city. Exactly what it says in Joel. Because you divided my land. God's going to pour His judgment out. So there'll probably be natural disasters. Not probably. There's going to be. If Obama goes out. If Obama goes along and actually does this if he does it whatever he may do there will be fires there'll be hurricanes earthquakes whatever God decides to do he's gonna do it but I know this coming massive earthquakes God uses that as a judgment and David Wilkerson saw this there's coming a huge earthquake to the United States It's gonna be so big that it's gonna trigger off two more earthquakes he said this is gonna be all over the news all day this is how bad it's gonna be and he said there's coming 1,000 fires in New York City and so on. And it's going to spread from New York City to New Jersey. There's going to be army tanks on the street. You name it. This is what is coming to America. God made an everlasting covenant and God keeps his word. God's not joking around. God's not joking around. Obama is not in charge. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in charge, and he, he made an everlasting covenant, and he keeps his word. And there's so many prophecies, so many prophecies that show that America will be destroyed, that God has revealed them to. And plus, Billy Graham, years ago, when he was a young preacher, they invited him to come to New York City to preach. He didn't want to go at first. He did not want to step foot in New York City. He said that place is like Sodom and Gomorrah. But eventually he went. God has been warning people to turn back to him. And he's, this is what Billy Graham said and so many other preachers say that if God does not judge America, he's going to have to apologize to what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. And God's not going to apologize. His wrath and anger and judgment is going to fall on America, on the United States. <clears throat> this is what's going to happen. If Obama does what he says he wants to do, say goodbye to the United States. There's going to be earthquake, massive earthquakes. 
that they have never, ever, ever, ever seen in their human history ever before. Okay? There's going to be hurricanes. The Word of God says a whirlwind. That is the, that's explaining hurricanes or tornadoes. God does his judgment through fires, earthquakes, floods, you name it, hailstorms. God's power is going to fall on America. And it's not going to be in a good way. It's going to buy, be, be by his judgment. By his judgment, okay? This is not a joke. I'm coming out here and I'm warning people, whoever you are, be careful how you treat the Jews. Because there's many people out there saying, oh, because there's, there's a false doctrine going around, replacement theology, saying that God is through with the Jews and the church is Israel and Jerusalem is heaven. Where'd you get that baloney from? People are gonna People are going to pay the price for how they're treating Israel. And Obama is going to pay the price. He's not getting away with it. The United States of America is going to face judgment because of what the president is doing with these things that he's trying to put on Israel. Probably Washington's going to get hit by something. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? God decides what he's going to do, but I know there's coming massive earthquakes because so many people had these visions and dreams that God showed them. And so many people are ignoring so many people are ignoring the warnings. You may ignore it, but you cannot ignore the results of that reality. This is reality. God's word will come to pass. God keeps his covenant with the Jewish people. The land belongs to Israel. All of it. All through the Old Testament. The Jews were in possession of Jerusalem during the time of King David. So, President Obama, the judgment of God is going to fall on your American. Okay? The judgment of God is going to fall on you. What you do to Israel, God will do to your country. The United States of America is no longer united. It's going to be divided. The wrath of God is going to fall on the United States of America. Believe it or not, God's going to pour out his plagues on America earthquakes you name it who knows what he's going to use but i know there's coming earthquakes there could be humongous hurricanes tornadoes he's going to use who knows it's devastating what's going to come that they've never seen it they're going to go into a place of bankruptcy you name it i can go on and on so this is all i wanted to say so for my brothers and sisters in christ this is not because of you i don't know how to answer that question because people ask me, but we have not elected this guy, Obama. How, so how, why is this happening? It's because God keeps his word. That's why it's happening. But God will protect his own, or maybe he'll be called home in the devastation. I don't know. I can't say. Only God knows that. But this is what I'm going to say. History has shown. God keeps his holy word. So whatever happens, I'm telling you, very soon, there's coming massive earthquakes, to America that they have never ever 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 seen before maybe after those earthquakes they're going to be fo followed by tsunamis because they're supposed to be coming 100 foot tsunamis to the east and west coast New York City Boston New Jersey area you name it and so many other things but God in his word he used the judgments through hurricanes that's why the whirlwind floods and earthquakes Lots of earthquakes. There's coming earthquakes, okay? And the United States is going to be nuked. God's going to use the enemies of America to nuke them. Just like he's done in the past. Just like he used Israel's enemies to scatter them. God is going to use these people to nuke the United States. God's going to use it. He can do anything, and that's what he's going to do. So, this is all I wanted to say. And very soon... Assyria, Damascus, will be no more. That's what the Word of God says. Damascus. Behold the burden against Damascus. Damascus shall cease from being a city. It will be a pile of rubble, a heap. That's going to happen. Every Word of God will be fulfilled. And God made a covenant. And God is serious. God's not joking around. So this is all i got to say. And uh, God bless you all. And whoever you are, May you heed the warnings and be careful how you treat the Jews. 
Israel belongs. The Jewish people are in their land and they're here to stay. And that's all I got to say.